So in this video, I want to talk about the HIV life cycle and some basics on its treatment. So HIV stands for human immunodeficiency virus. This tells us that a patient that got infected with HIV is going to be immunodeficient and, for example, will present with opportunistic infections and neoplasm. The target of HIV is a CD4 T cell, and that explains why you're going to end up with immunodeficiency. Because remember, the CD4 T cell is a T helper cell, and the T helper cell helps other cells to do a better job. So, so if you have very low levels of the CD4 T cell, you will have a poor immune response. HIV has on its surface a glycoprotein, GP120, and this likes to bind to the CD4 molecule. Once this interaction has occurred, there's going to be a conformational change so that the core receptor, which is most likely CCR5, chemokine receptor 5, is also going to bind to GP120, and then there's going to be the fusion of the virus with the plasma membrane, and so the virus can release the RNA into the host cell. HIV is a retrovirus. Retro is not only cool, retro also means reverse direction. We normally store our genetic material in form of DNA. And so if you're gonna store the genetic material in form of RNA, you need to provide a mechanism in order to make DNA out of RNA. And this is the reverse way, that's retro. And therefore, HIV brings with it a reverse transcriptase, a DNA polymerase that is able to make DNA out of RNA. Then another enzyme called the integrase that is also provided by the virus will make sure that the viral DNA gets integrated in the host DNA. So we are going to end up with integrated DNA and then the virus just uses the host machinery, making with the host polymerases mRNA with the host ribosome protein. And then it just needs to provide one more enzyme, a protease, to make sure that the proteins are cut off the string and then assembled and then the virus can butt off the cell. As you can see, besides the RNA, the virus brings with it three enzymes, which can be remembered with rest in peace which stands for reverse transcriptase, integrase, and protease. And that's it. All the other steps, the virus just uses the host machinery. So how could we target HIV? How could we treat it? First of all, it's important to realize that viruses in general are much more difficult to treat than bacteria. And the reason is that a virus is neither a prokaryote nor a eukaryote. It's not a self-living organism and it just uses the host machinery most of the time and that makes it so difficult to treat. That's a reason why we don't have broad spectrum antivirals because most of the time the virus hides inside our own cells and uses our own cells machinery and obviously we cannot target that. So what are the targets that the HIV virus gives us? So first of all, we could prevent the fusion. And this is actually possible with two drugs. There's, there's one drug called Enfuvertide, and it has a fusion already in its name. And it binds to GP41, which is close to GP120. But if it has bound to it, there cannot be a conformational change and there cannot be a fusion. So that's one fusion inhibitor. We have another drug, Maraviroc, which binds to CCR5. And therefore, if you bind to this core receptor, fusion is also inhibited. It's important to know that there are different HIV viruses. And so some of them use the core receptor CCR5, and therefore you could use this drug. But there are also others that use CXCR4 as a core receptor, and then you could not use this drug. So if you want to use this drug, you need to screen the patient's type of the virus first. Once the RNA is inside the host cells, we have three targets. So the first target is a reverse transcriptase. We don't have such an enzyme that can make DNA from RNA, and therefore this is an ideal target. 
So there's two classes of drugs that target the reverse transcriptase. The first class are the NRTIs, which stands for nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. And those are just false nucleotides. And therefore, they get incorporated into the DNA chain, but the chain gets terminated. Drugs like cytovudine, didenosine, lamivudine belong to this group. A lot of them end with ine, but unfortunately not all of them. Another class of drugs are the NNRTIs. These are the non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. And they again inhibit reverse transcriptase. But this time it's a non-nucleoside. So it's not going to be a false nucleoside. It's just going to be a drug that binds close to the catalytic center of the reverse transcriptase and just inhibits it. Drugs like efavirenz belong to this group. Another class of drugs are the integrase inhibitors. They are now called the INSTEs, and they inhibit the integrase, as the name already implies. Integrase is this enzyme that makes sure that the viral DNA gets integrated in our host DNA and that the virus then can use the machinery of the host cell. Drugs like ritegravir, alvitegravir, dolutegravir belong to this group, and you're always going to have tegra in its name, which should remind you that we are talking about an integrase inhibitor. The last class of drugs are the protease inhibitors, and they inhibit, as the name already implies, the protease enzyme that is very important for the virus assembly. Drugs like lopinavir, atazanavir, indinavir, saquinavir belong to this group. And fortunately, they all end in navir. So you can remember this with never for navir, ever TSA protease. So I want to finish this video with some basics about the HIV treatment regimens. While HIV was a deadly disease, maybe until 15 years ago, we have made some huge progress in the treatment of HIV. And we have found some very efficient combinations that you can now take one pill once a day to not cure HIV, but to treat it as a chronic disease. So if the patient takes the medications, the patient can nowadays have a lifespan almost as long as somebody without HIV. And there's always the same combinations. So you're always going to have a backbone, which consists out of two NRTIs, two nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. And then you either add one NNRTI or one integrase inhibitor, or one protease inhibitor. That concludes the video on HIV life cycle and basics on its treatment.